Hi there, this is Tim Blankenship, owner of SCV Legal Doc Assist. We're a licensed and bonded legal document preparation service specializing in divorce. And today I want to talk about something I've been getting a lot of requests for, and that is for uh, completion of request for orders, RFOs. They used to be called OSCs, order to show cause, and I think in July they changed the name, uh, July of 2012 that is. So today I will discuss, uh, you know, what, how we can prepare the uh, request for orders. Uh, it's also known as the FL 300 and the response. If you're if you're served a motion, we can also prepare the response. I want to show you uh, what we can do for you and how we can get that completed for you. Uh, so let's take a look at the FL 300, and we're just going to go over uh, some of the ideas behind the FL 300, what you can request, and so forth, and how and how it works. So I've pulled up the FL 300 here. This is the request for order. You can see this on your screen. And it looks like any other uh, initial uh, filing document with your initial document, uh, initial information up here, the parties, names, and so forth. Now, you can use this form uh, anytime during your, uh, your the process of getting divorced if you are asking for certain types of orders uh, during the divorce process. So let's say you're going through divorce and you need an an order for child support or child custody or visitation or spousal support or really anything um, you want the court to make an order for uh, that you um, can't come to some agreement with your spouse during the divorce process. So uh, in another video, we'll go through and, and show you how to complete this form. But I just want to show you what kind of things you can ask for. Again, you have child custody, child support, um, attorney's fees and costs. Uh, modification, if you're modifying uh, spousal support or child support, or anything um, that's previously been ordered, you can still use this form. You just mark the modification box. Again, your know, visitation, spouse support, and this other box, you can actually uh, indicate anything else you'd like the court to make an order on. Now, if you're going through the divorce process and, and you haven't been divorced yet, you um, can use this form to get temporary orders, meaning these will be orders pending the final judgment in your case. If you have already been divorced, you can still use this. It's called a post-judgment uh, request for order. just means the judgment in your divorce has already been finalized, and you're going to ask for a post-judgment you know, modification of some particular order. I'm doing a lot of post-judgment uh, modifications lately. Um, Many times they have to do with uh, spousal support, where the one of the spouses who's paying support is perhaps uh, got an increase in pay, a significant increase in pay, and the uh, spouse that has custody of the children wants additional spousal support. Uh, we've been doing um, modifications of the visitation of the party who has visitation because, let's say, in the final judgment, uh, the spouse had uh, you know a certain percentage of custody, but for the last several years hasn't been using um, or coming to visit on the days uh, they're supposed to, resulting in a significant reduction in the amount of actual visitation that he or she is, is doing. Therefore, if a spouse has agreed in a final judgment to say, you know, 50-50 uh, custody and visitation, yet only shows up 10% of the time, well, spousal support or I should say child support, will be significantly higher if we go in and modify, modify child support based on the actual visitation of, say, a 90-10 or 80-20. Now, of course, there's no guarantees. It's all up to the judge. But certainly if there's a change in circumstances, you can always uh, fill out an FL 300, a request for order, and uh, get a court date and request uh, you know a modification of, of any of these things or any other orders um, you'd like the court to hear. Um, one thing to keep in mind, anytime you uh, want to go to court and it, and it has to do with uh, children, you're going to have to go to um, a mediation appointment. When you're, you see this form here, you can see that it says here, a hearing on this request for order will be as follows. If child custody or visitation is an issue in this proceeding, you're required to go to mediation at the same time uh, as the hearing, or you can go before. It. And you'll want to call uh, and get a mediation date. You can also um, do it online now. You can request it online and get your mediation date. Anything that has to do with with um, money, if you're asking for additional support, don't forget you need to complete your income and expense declaration and uh, submit that 
and file and serve this, you also have to uh, serve a blank income and expense declaration so the other party, when they respond, uh, knows they need to fill out an income and expense report. Uh, we also do the responsive declarations, the FL320. So if you have been served um, with one of these motions uh, requesting orders, we can certainly um, help prepare the response. We would complete the response, the FL320, and we would prepare, in all cases, um, the your declaration uh, in support of your argument for um, these orders that you're requesting. Uh, some of the other things on here that you'll want to check off is if you are going through this and you want child custody, make sure you go through here, enter the children's names, and just follow the forms. Again, we'll do another um, uh, video on how to complete this form. This I just wanted to talk about the fact that we have been getting a lot of these requests that we can help you uh, prepare both the motion, um, your income and expense report. We can file these for you, get you a court date, get you a mediation date. Again, if you've been served one of these, we can also complete the response for you. Uh, we also do the complete declarations. We can attach any exhibits and help you with your argument um, for your motion. The only thing we cannot do is give you legal advice. So um, uh, you don't ask us uh, how, you know, you know, what the law says. Of course, if we find something online or it's on the court website, we'd be uh, happy to share that with you. But again, we do do this for a flat rate. Um, you don't have to have an attorney to do this. We can get this for you. Again, we can do this for a flat rate and uh, save you lots of money in the process. Uh, again, my name is Tim Blankenship, owner of SCV Legal Doc Assist. We're a licensed and bonded legal document preparation service specializing only in divorce. We serve all of Los Angeles County and provide our service 100% online. Therefore, you'll never have to come to our office. Um, for an affordable uh, approach to the divorce process, uh, please give us a call. You can reach us on our websites, as you see on your screen here. And you can always reach us at 661-281-0266. Thanks for watching.